Hey guys, as we can see, uh, looking at the numbers this month, uh, sales are up, new listings are up, active listings are up. You know what, no surprise. Uh, obviously what we went through with the uh, pandemic in, in, uh, in March and April and parts of May, uh, it's expected. Um, the one thing that we are seeing, if you're selling, you know what, it's a really good time to, to get out there and list your house. Um, so give us a call. There is, uh, the prices are pushing upwards because there is no inventory and there's a good pool of buyers out there. If you're a buyer, uh, you know what? There's still a pocket and, and a sweet spot of, of, uh, of price ranges that uh, obviously you're seeing a lot more activity. The lack of inventory is not gonna help you. So if you need to buy, get out there. If you don't need to, but it's something that you want to, um, then maybe you know see where the market is headed and see what, uh, what the next couple of months hold. I don't have a crystal ball. If I did, I would definitely share that information with you guys. Um, but buyers uh, are also being pressured to, to enter the market because of the new CMHC rules where if you're putting less than 20% down, you need, now, you need to have a higher beacon score. Um, I believe it's from the 600 up to the 680 and the ratios have, have changed as well. In retrospect, to you know, simplify everything, if you were buying a $500,000 uh, $500, un unit or property um, now, uh, after July the 1st, uh, you are probably going to be buying, your buying capacity is down to about 440. So these are the changes that are happening, these are the changes that the government is implementing, um, you know, it's, it's the type of market we're in, but uh, still a, a pretty good market. There's still a lot of activity, so make sure you, if you're buying, selling, or renting, give us a call.